Pokémon dropped a new Pokémon Presents, and let's say its presentation was less than stellar. Images and videos are conceptual. No fucking <laughs> shit, look. Look at this, dude. <laughs> no, no. The present started by showing how excited they are for hosting the Pokémon World Cup in Japan, and they show a lot of Pokémon memorabilia they are going to give to the attendants. And it just made me cry because I won't have the cool jacket or the new Pikachu plush with the suit. Then they showed a beautiful trailer of an animated series about the trading card game. To me, it looks a little bit inspired by Turning Red, and I will be there day one to watch it. Maybe it is directed a lot more towards a younger audience, but hey, I want to see that smooth animation. I love seeing Pokémon try new things, and the series they produce outside of the main anime are always a fucking blast. And talking about series outside of the anime, they reveal a wonderful and jaw-dropping teaser of another upcoming web series called Paldean Wins. And this... It's going to probably be one of the best Pokemon animated media out there, since it looks so chill and magical. It is the thing I always talk about Pokemon. The world is amazing, and they don't seem to know how to use it in the games, or they just don't want to. But here, we can see a slice of life of people that study, live and grow on that world, and watching them interacting with this world in their day-to-day -day life, with the touch of music that seems to be this a lot in there, may turn this into something wonderful. Ah, yeah, Ethetic Pikachu is back. The name's Pikachu. I never played Ethetic Pikachu, so I don't have anything to say about this, other than, hey, yo, you alright over there? And of course, rant about how they are making a big fuss about how Pokemon are going to help you to break rocks and follow sense. Whoa, that would be awesome in a mainline title, right? It's not like I made a whole video about that thing, right? Right? <laughs> After that, we just saw the Pokemon company laughing at us, saying, You want old Pokemon games on Switch? <laughs> Cute. And then, dingling boys cycling in front of our faces, like, So much more fun than I ever even knew! Ah, shut up, you don't have boys acting. You want it? <laughs> nope, we don't do that here. They gave us news about Pokemon Sleep. But I have crippling insomnia, so pfft, good luck hooking me into that shtick. Then they showed upcoming Pokemon Go Fests, and a Mewtwo Raid, where you can get a free Mewtwo. Get your Mewtwo now, you use the code... <laughs> But now we get to the meat of any Pokemon Presents, the last 10 minutes, where we were shown the trailers of the upcoming Pokemon DLC with the release date for the first half of them. And can I be real with you? This shit was underwhelming. The DLC looks like more of the same, with additions of stuff that in my opinion should have been in the base game, like this little thing to EV train your Pokemon. The new legendaries look like trash, and the new paradox forms? Here's the thing, I hate, hate the robot designs. I find them boring and really, really, really boring F tier. Maybe I can bump up to C tier that lovable iron bundle, but that's it. And the new Raikou has an amazing concept idea, but about how it turned out? <laughs> well, let's say it was an amazing concept. The new Appling form is perfect. Good stuff. Pushing a Pokemon with enormous potential. Hopefully, the offensive evolution looks better than Flapple this time. This DLC is going to be released on September 13th. The second part of the DLC is a new academy, where you will fight the Elite Four, meaning the four best students in there, and you will have four different artificial lands where you will compete in four different minigames, apparently, to win your chance to battle each Elite member. And your rideable Pokémon can fly now. They fly now! They fly now! And they tease us with the idea of keeping the fly function later. Well, this DLC looks really... not interesting at all. Since Pokémon battles are such an afterthought for Game Freak, spam one move to win. Unless they make the trainers hold items and even train their mons and have actual strategies, yeah, this one is going to be in the bottom of the barrel. Not even 2v2 will save them. Oh yeah, and there is a Duralodon evolution. A bridge! Bridge Shalodon! <laughs> I don't know. Of course, their Pokemon designs are flawed from time to time, but their human female designs? Jesus Christ! Is this where all the budget is going? <laughs> Pokemon. The only thing that piqued my curiosity was what they show in the end, with apparently a cover from a fan who was given no credit whatsoever. Nice there, Pokemon Company! You show us our place! <laughs> Woo! Being a fan of a company that doesn't give a shit about their games or their fans! Nice! Apparently, after all of that, we get to visit the Area Zero again. Probably with new content, new areas, I don't know, but that does excite me. Since Area Zero was the part that I genuinely enjoyed from Pokemon Violet, but I don't think it will be enough to get me back to the game. The only thing that can bring me back is the Legends game they revealed. Wait, what? So, no Legends game? <laughs> 
I'm okay with that. <laughs> I don't need it or anything. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> this Pokemon present sucked!